everyone. This is very exciting. Um, I am, I'm at work currently, but I'm just filming this kind of, like a kind of introduction um, because I'm gonna be taking you to work with me today. So that's exciting. I'm gonna show you like a day in the life of being in a West End show, behind the scenes, um, getting ready, getting changed, like all the different bits and bobs that kind of go into being in a show. So it's very exciting. Um, I wanted to do a video like this for so long and I finally am and you get to see like behind the scenes of being in a West End show. How cool is that? So I really hope you enjoy it and I'll try and kind of inform you as I go. Let's start at the beginning. So today I am taking you with me to work. I've had some breakfast, I've got ready to go to rehearsals. Normally I do my makeup, all my makeup at the theatre just before the show, so I don't have to wear makeup all day, but I'm going to rehearsals first, so I thought I'd put a bit on to start the day off. I've got a show this evening, so I'll be making my way and have to be at the theatre at 6.15, so I'm gonna take you along with me, and I hope you enjoy. And we're off. And it's raining. <laughs> Standard England. So let's go get the tube. Thank you. Thank you. work got warm up uh, when, when we arrive so I've got here a bit early so that I can have some food love a bit of rice rehearsals were so good today it's gonna be an incredible show the choreography is insane like his his choreography is amazing if you can catch it it's on BBC 4 I mean I, I'll say if you can catch it and then I don't actually know when it's on um, which is helpful and it's Oklahoma at BBC proms it's going to be on the telly. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please make way to the stage. Please warm up. Please make way to the stage. Please it's warm up warm time. Up. I don't actually dance in the show, but I like to do. I do like to do warm up, and I think it's really important, no matter what part you're playing, because I think it really brings the company together before a show, and it's a good bit of exercise as well, because I don't really do much exercise. I'm going to go to warm up now, and I'll take you with me. See you in a bit. Not very high. It's just scary. Oop, oop. What else can we see? These move, so they like come on on these long on these tracks here. So this goes. Mm -hmm. 
this is one of the quick change rooms. This is my little magazine stash. Hi. show you my desk a little bit. So here is the microphones I'll be wearing. So there's two. There's one that goes in the wig. Can you see? Cynthia one. And one that goes around your waist in a mic belt. Just in case, you know, one of them breaks, one of them, you know, cuts out. There's always a backup so that they can switch it over. And look, you can see the little microphones which go on your head. Maybe I'll talk you through all the makeup that I'll be using today. I mean, I've got it all laid out nice and neatly so that I know where everything is. So I've got my trusty Prep and Prime, no, Fix Plus. There we go. Um, I'm using, because I've got a bit of fake tan on, so I'm using this Dior Nude Air, which it's not a lot of coverage, but it's really, really nice. Really good. It goes on the skin nicely. And then I've got all my brushes, I've got my Real Techniques and my Iconic brushes there. A couple of MAC brushes, I've got my MAC eyeshadows here. Some eyeshadow brushes that I purchased, I think these are Eco Tools. Um, I've got my Hourglass, MAC, I use this throughout the show. Um, I use this to like set my under eyes. What else we got? I'm gonna sneeze. I bought some of this on Horny's recommendation. Bit of the NYX matte finish to keep my makeup from sweating all off my face. Oh, I've got my Becca, try that out. But, oh, where is it? I've got this as well. Um, this is, it's from Primark, and it's really, really good highlighter cream. Um, so I'm gonna put a bit of that on, and then put my Becca over the top and see if that helps it look a bit better. And then these eyelashes, I think they are, I think these are Ardell, but that we get given them for the show. Um, but I love them, they make my eyes look popping. So they swipe just in case of emergency, and my lipstick. Where is it? That's my one for like the end. Then we've got my trusty Cockney, my fave, and I've even painted my nails red for the occasion. So yeah, that's all my makeup that I'm gonna be using. I forgot about this, sleek contour palette I mean I've tried guys I've tried to use this and I really don't know what I'm doing but we'll give it another go see what happens this is my jewelry the Cynthia act one beginner ish jewelry oh what else this is my favorite spray I don't actually have perfume at the moment um so I use this this is the Hollister body mist but it's the crescent bay one if you haven't smelt it do go in and try it because 
it's blimmin' lush and this is actually my <laughs> favorite makeup bag ever did anyone else watch the rugrats i blimmin' love the rugrats and this was in primark they had like a few rugrats bits i wish they'd do more um look look at the back i love it i had an angelica toy when i was little little phone there in case of you know needing any emergencies costume wise or anything got a little bed have a nice little lie down then you get given a basket with your show underwear in so i've got me bra here some flesh colored tights some black pants but i actually don't have my mic before, so i need to get a button let's get some makeup on Makeup's done. Well, I haven't done my lipstick yet. Dressing gown's on, because I've got to get changed. And I'm gonna do some singing exercises and brush my teeth and put my lipstick on. face is done. It actually takes me a really long time because I'm not the best at makeup. But um, so yeah, so we've had the half an hour call, which is at five to seven. And then we've had also had the 15, which is at 10 past seven. It's just to kind of keep everyone like running on time. So I've got my, make got my makeup done and then Sophie is going to come in and do my pink curls in a minute. Um, so I'm just waiting for that and I'm just going over my lines. Come in! Hi! <laughs> had my pink curls put in and my first wig cap put on and then later on Sophie will come back and put my microphone on and then another wig cap and then my wig um, so it's like a step-by-step -step process um, so now I've got my makeup done pretty much I've got to put my jewelry on actually my one jewelry so we've got some lovely little earrings there and a little bracelet um, and it's the five five minute call now, um, which means there's five minutes till I want to be called down to the stage for beginners, which is at 25 past two or seven, depending on which show it is, um, just so that there's enough time for like, everyone to get down and get started for when the show starts at half past. Now I just, I mean, I've got until, I've got about 20 minutes to kill, 
Um, so I like to just go over my lines, make sure I've got everything in my head, um, think about any notes I've been given, think about anything I kind of want to change, um, sing through the songs a million times, even though I've sung them quite a few times already. And then I get to get my underwear on and my tights, and then Amy will come in. When does she come in? She comes in at... No, Sophie comes in at... No. Sophie comes in at the end of the opening number and then Amy comes in just after that and helps me put my dress on. So yeah, so I'm gonna film all that. This is really like nice to kind of, cause I just take, you kind of, this is just the norm. I'm kind of really used to it, but it's actually nice to kind of think, actually no, this is quite cool and a bit different. I'm also gonna finish this banana because I'm very tired and I need some energy. This is probably the best thing I've ever bought. I always wear it um, in between shows or when I'm getting ready. It's from m and it was in the sale. So soft. Ooh. Let me love it. So my stage management, technical staff, wardrobe, wigs and crew. This is your actual beginners call. Just waiting for the show to start. We've had beginners and yeah, just waiting, huh? Just waiting. Let me turn the tannoy up. I think the coolest thing to hear, I love having my tannoy on when I'm getting ready because you can hear the audience coming in and the band warming up as well, which is really cool. And I really like hearing kind of the start of the show because I don't come into it for like 20 minutes so I like to kind of hear like the audience and like how they are like how they're like finding the show and stuff and it gets me really excited just thought I'd share that with you Lights up on act one, you're letting your vocals, 60, 50, pull away, please make your way to the stage, thank you So that call, let me turn it down So that call is for everyone who's in the big opening number that's their call to go down Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me, yakety yak Oh, I can see myself three times. Hello. So you went upstairs. You left your phone with me. Shame on you. So now I will dance for you. Hello. Da 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 da. And that is your dance. God, I'm unfit. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely got caught halfway through. <laughs> Yakety yak and don't call back. Got my wig on, got my jewellery on, um, now I've just got to wait go on stage, it should be another maybe five to ten minutes. Um, so now I go into kind of meltdown mode, not meltdown mode, but I have to like sing the songs a million times, go over my lines, so I'm going to do all that and then, yeah, and then I'll get back to you. She probably don't want to see that, me just going, <laughs> we're live. <laughs> <laughs> it's Amy. Hi. She's awesome. <laughs> Stage please, Miss Georgie Ashford, your course at the stage please. Thank you. It's time. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. We're off. Touch up now. 
Because of old cushion. And you have the tannoy on as well so you can hear because I've got to be on stage in like a minute. Lots of earring changes in this show. Can I believe? Or they're just singing up on the roof now. Um, and I'm about to go on for a crossover with Barry um, to, it's basically like to introduce On Broadway, which is one of my faves. So yeah, that's what's happening now. Okay, so I'm gonna film the next really quick change, which is out of um, the scene before Love and Feeling into Vermont, which is the scene where they're all on holiday in Vermont. Um, but it's a really, really quick change and I have to run from side stage all the way back up to my dressing room and get changed into this mammoth, costume that's all set out here uh, ready for it so I'm gonna go and do that scene didn't show you my costume Did he? room is set up for a quick change see so I can run in really really quickly it's all it will go <laughs> One minute change! Bosh! Boshed it! <laughs> You've been crazy little off as well, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yes! Ace yeah, today! That was the quickest we've ever done! Woo! <laughs> Gotta go! Go, go, go! <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. Hi! Okay, so it's the interval now. Um, I don't know if you can hear the background noise. Maybe I'll turn it down. Actually, I'll give it on. I'm just... I've got changed into my red dress which I'm actually going to show you. Can I show you this? This is my act two opening dress. Little belt around the middle. Some cool shoes which I really wish I could keep. <laughs> and yeah and now I'm just going to get ready to go on stage again. Um, we do eight shows a week so it's quite full on um, but it's really really fun. If it's something you're interested in if it's something you're interested interested in, I would definitely recommend it. It's awesome. It's um, basically to get into a show, you have to audition. And to audition, normally you have to have an agent. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but I think I'm going to do a video kind of about all the different ways to get into a show as well, and kind of what schools to go to, what training would be helpful, how to get an agent. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, how to kind of get in for auditions, how to audition, like how to combat nerves, all those different things. Um, because believe you me, I've probably been in ev every single situation you could possibly be in. Um, and you've got to be prepared to be rejected a lot. Uh, but that's okay, you know, it's all part of the fun. I was just FaceTiming my sister and I realised that I was telling her all this stuff that I probably should be like saying on here. I was just like chatting away about the show and I was like, oh yeah, act one, she was like, a, a lot happens in act one, doesn't it? And I was like, yeah, a lot actually does happen um, in Act 1. I, I really love Act 1 because I'm really, really busy. Actually, I'm busy in both, but I think... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say I think Act 2 is my favourite. I think Act 2 is my favourite because it has you know, the Walking in the Rain scene, which is my favourite song and scene, I think. They both have really... like I love, love, love the beginning of Act 1 when like, I first come on. Like, that whole bit's really, really busy. So I really, really like that. But yeah, it's really hard to pick. Mm, don't know undecided like I'm both so if you like this kind of video and you'd like to see more subscribe to my channel and then you'll see more because I'm thinking of doing quite a lot of um, kind of similar stuff it's interesting for me and I'm kind of doing it but it must be interesting to kind of watch if it's something that you're thinking of getting into and I will say if you're considering a career in theatre or if you really really love acting performing whatever and you really want to make it your job my advice would be to do it because you'll always wonder what if and I think what ifs I don't know why I'm holding this up I could just hello <laughs> and I think I think that what if is such a shame if you have a dream and it never kind of gets lived so what I will say is if you do have that dream then go for it if you're not sure whether it's the right thing for you then I kind of think maybe don't do it because it takes your entire kind of you have to be all in it's kind of all, it's all or nothing with this kind of job you put your heart and soul into it you get rejected people are mean to you and it's it's hard like, 
and gentlemen, this is your five minute call for act two, you have five minutes, thank you. Five minutes? Um, so I probably should stop rambling. <laughs> You're on different schedules to people with normal jobs, for want of a better kind of phrase. Sorry, I don't mean normal jobs as in like boring or anything, because that's not the case. But um, yeah, I would think long and hard if you're considering getting into this kind of industry. I mean, I still don't really know what I'm talking about at all, <laughs> at all. But um, I feel like if I can help anyone, I would, I, I really want to because I wish I had that help when I was starting out because I feel like I would have got a lot further a lot quicker. I made a lot of mistakes and I mean, you will too, like, that's life. But I feel like if you have this dream, go for it and completely believe in yourself because you can, you can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. I really believe that. So, do it. If you're thinking about it, and you want it with your whole heart, do it. It's very fulfilling, it's amazing, and it's, it's, it's very hard keeping up eight shows a week as well, so you have to really, really look after yourself. You have to really make sure you rest your voice, make sure you're not, you know, drinking if you, if you find that kind of affects your voice, like kind of what foods you can and can't eat, what drinks you can and can't drink, you know, how many hours sleep you need. It's, it's like being an athlete. You have to look after your body, look after your, you know, this is your, like your tool, this is your trade, your voice or your legs if you're a dancer or, you know, your voice if you're an actor. It's, it's, this is your machine. It's your, you have to kind of keep it well maintained. So yeah, that's also something to kind of consider. And just don't let anyone tell you you can't. You have to believe in yourself because no one else is gonna believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. It doesn't matter if you're not like everyone else, that's good. Like, be yourself and be proud of who you are because there is never gonna be another you. There's, if you're trying to be like someone else, firstly, it's not gonna get you anywhere because there's already someone who's probably better at being themselves than you are at being them. I'm wearing my Cockney lipstick from my MAC lipstick collection video. Don't know what I'm doing, got a really sore arm. I'm thinking maybe if you've got any, any questions at all about being in a show, maybe write to me in the comments. I'd love, love, love to ha um, hear your questions because I feel like I'm talking about it, but it's helpful to know what exact questions you like answered. So um, I would love that. I'd love to hear from you if it's something you're interested in or if you want to know about makeup or wigs or, Anything really, I mean, just ask me anything, I don't mind. I'll tell you anything. Here we have the costumes. I love, love, love them. Some pretty costumes. I think I've got about 12 costume changes in the show. 10 or 12. Um, yeah, but they're beautiful. Beautiful costumes for a beautiful show. Technical staff, wardrobe, wigs and crew. This is your Act 2 Beginners call. Thank you. Act 2 Beginners. I'm not technically a beginner, but I am pretty near the beginning, so I have to be ready. Time for Act 2. <laughs> I'm so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Act 1, Act 2. Like that's Act 2. It's Georgie Ashford. This is your call. That's me! Yeah, it's me! Here she comes. <gasps> She's coming, I'm nervous. Don't back Georgie up. Georgie Ashford. Oh my god. La dancer extraordinaire. Come on, for God's sake, Georgie, she's always late. Bloody hell. Well, so this is there. us. Um, Hi, welcome to CBBC. I'm Amy. <laughs> welcome to Blue Peter. Tonight we're going to be talking about trousers. Welcome Very to funny. Naked Attraction, where we undress actors. <laughs> Tonight we'll be, we'll be seeing Georgie. Well, here she is. Hello, oh, Georgie. Georgie, we're filming you from over there today. Oh, well, look, say hello to the camera. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bag to grab. This is when Georgie looks at herself. Checks. Good to go. Week. Here she comes. Oh no, that's Jeff. Here she comes now. I was. Here she comes. <laughs> Georgie, say hello to the camera. Hello.
corner of this shot. Have a look at the screen. <laughs> Everyone's peeking in the corner. Uh, Everyone's a director, aren't they, Sophie? <laughs> we suck at this. Daniel? Yes. Lipstick. Lipstick. This is Mac. Mac. This Pulse is Mac is amplified, yeah. if you're interested. Yeah. Hey. Hydrate! Hello! Hello! Hi. <laughs> dream team! We're your dream team! Georgie will get you really dressed! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Cause you got a dream team! Dream team! Dream teams will never leave you! No! And all you got to do is scream and you'll be in a real green outfit! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. There's Sounder here now. Hello, Sound. It's me, again. Tom from Sound. You're like Janice from Friends, like the recurring character. Show us. Quick photo means. Here we go. Change. Ta da! Yay! Right, last change done. I think we nailed that, Amy. Just like that, it's the end of the show. Finished. That went really quickly. I love, love, love this show so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching what happens backstage. Um, I really enjoyed showing you. It was really fun. I want to try and do more stuff like this. Different kind of backstageness and things to do with like theatre and the industry and stuff. And I'm gonna go and bow and see my mum, my dad, and my sister who were all watching. And I'm really, really excited. I hope they enjoyed it. But for now, I'll leave you with Carol King. <laughs>